Ride Engine, how to fit a kiteboarding and windsurfing waist harness properly. In kiteboarding and windsurfing, much of the gear focus is always on boards, kites, sails, and the harness is often overlooked. A proper fitting harness means just as much to the performance and enjoyment of your sessions as the right board, kite size, or sail. The right fit of a harness should provide a shadow-like fit where you can almost forget that you even have it on, allowing for unrestricted movement and confidence building support. The common mistakes of a poorly fitting harness are fitting the harness too loose. The harness will ride up or rotate out of position, creating irritation and putting you in a situation where you have to make unnecessary adjustments while riding. Too tight, the harness will restrict movement, create pressure points and limit your ability to breathe, which will impact your progress, lead to faster fatigue and shorten your sessions. Today's modern harness design has incorporated forward thinking technology allowing us as kiteboarders and windsurfers to achieve the perfect fitting harness with a shadow-like fit. So how do you know if your harness is fitting correctly? First, you wanna measure your waist and refer to the manufacturer's size suggestions based on your waist dimension. Once you have determined the size recommendation, wrap the waist harness in the correct location on your body. Interesting enough, this is the same place for both men and women. The proper location is above the hips and just below the ribs. A good indicator is the harness belt should go directly across your navel. This is important as especially with hard shell harnesses, all the support contour in the back side of the dimensions and the side belt have been designed to function in this location. A common mistake is that people tend to try to fit the harness too low, thinking that this will compensate for the harness rising Fitting this way will only amplify the situation. Now that you have zeroed in on your size, it's time to check the fit. Most kiteboarding and windsurfing harnesses use an internal elastic belt to hold and stabilize the harness in place when the spreader bar is not connected. It is important to note that this belt is not completely there to hold the harness in place while in use. It works in tandem with the correct size spreader bar. A proper overlap of the waist belt is important. Too little could create irritation on bare skin, excess wear on the wetsuit, or come undone while riding. Too large could cause bunching up of the elastic belt and make adjustment of the spreader bar hard. One thing to keep in mind is that the elastic will stretch and become slightly longer with use. We recommend that the correct amount of wrap would engage the entire hook portion of the hook and loop connection. Spreader bars are just as critical to the fit as much as the wrap of the shell. Most performance brands offer at least a minimum of three spreader bar sizes. The size refers to the width or span of the spreader bar. You want to use the largest spreader bar that you can with your harness size. This is critical as it will help in dispersing the load across a wider area. This also helps to limiting the twist in the spreader bar while kiteboarding. Another critical factor to achieve proper fit is that you have the right amount of excess webbing. This will allow you to have good grip to adjust the harness to the desired tightness with or without a wetsuit. There you go, that's your perfect fitting harness. For more information about harness fit and function, visit rideengine.com.